Once you've created a workflow that you're happy with, where you've got all the steps done, you've got all the, everything set up, one of the things that you definitely want to do is to test it on yourself to ensure that all the steps are working properly, that you didn't miss something that you know was tagging something, or just make sure that the workflow works the way that you set it up. So what I recommend you do is add yourself as a contact into the CRM and add yourself to the workflow. What this is gonna allow you to do is experience it just like you would as a customer and make sure that all the steps are flowing and working together. This helps you to troubleshoot your workflows and see where any breakdowns are, if there's any settings that were missed that need to be there, that if things are not firing correctly and so forth. This is just a perfect way to really troubleshoot your workflows and see where things are wrong along the way. Um, I always test out my workflows whenever I create them because it's one of those things that you don't want to miss something and then that step not fire or whatnot. So to troubleshoot a workflow, one of the best ways to do it is to navigate over to the CRM. So you're going to click on contacts in the left-hand menu and click on this plus button here and add yourself as a contact record. Be sure to add your email and also a cell phone in that section. And what that's going to do is add you into the CRM. Then once you've done that, then you can go and scroll down on your contact record to this active campaign section. Most likely it'll look like this. You just click that little toggle arrow down and click add. Then select the workflow that you created and also select the time as now. What this is gonna do is this is gonna add your contact record to the workflow that you created and start it right away. Then click add, and once you do, it'll start firing out the steps of the workflow, and you can kind of go back through and make sure that all steps are actually firing. You know, if you have tags in your workflow, you want to make sure that they're getting, you know, the the record is getting tagged with those tags. Uh, if it, there's a notification, you want to make sure that you know those notifications are actually going out uh, to your clients or yourself, however you have it set up, and uh, make sure that just all steps in the workflow is working well. Uh, this is a great way to do it. Um, one quick thing though, if you have a website like a form that works with your workflow, you're going to want to go to the website and actually fill out the form with your contact information. Uh, so instead of like going and adding the record in to that workflow, maybe you want to go and take it exactly like your customers would so that that way you can experience it just like your customers would. That way you can find where the breakdowns are in your workflows, troubleshoot them, and be able to make sure that your workflow is working correctly. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.